to your English lesson. So as promised from your read with me from last week, here are the answers to the comprehension questions here. Pause the video, have a look through, and then join me for today's lesson. So as you can already tell from the title, we are going to be looking at commas in a list. This in particular is when we are listing items in a sentence. So things that we might take to the beach with us, or things that we have found, or things that we might need to buy from the shop. And a comma in a list either replaces the and or it goes in between each item. When we are about to announce the last thing in the list, that is when we need to put an and. So just before we talk about the last item in the list, that is when we need an and. In between every other item, you need to put a comma. If you don't put a comma, it ends up reading like you have made up a completely new object, okay? Because it puts all of those words together and it makes it sound like you are only talking about one thing. I've got a sentence behind me. I would like to read this with you and I want you to spot why this sentence is a little bit tricky to read and how we can make it a little bit better. Can we add in any commas anywhere? Under the sofa, I found an apple and 20 pence and a ticket and a brush. There's a lot of ands in there, isn't there? Now, what did I just say about replacing the ands with something? What can we replace the ands with? Good, we can replace them with a comma. This will make the sentence easier to read. Now, we're not gonna replace every and, because which and do we need to leave in? We need to leave in the and before the last item. Okay, I'm just going to identify which and that is. So which is the last item that I have mentioned in my list? What did I find last? Good, I found the brush last. So this here is the and that I am going to leave in. Under the sofa, I found an apple. Oh, there's our first and, so I'm going to rub that out and replace it with a comma. Under the sofa, I found an apple, break, 20 pence, and now I've got another and here that I'm going to replace with a comma. There we go. Let's have a read through this. Does it make a little bit more sense now? Under the sofa, I found an apple, 20 pence, a ticket, and a brush. Yes, that reads a lot better, doesn't it? So just by adding in those commas, breaking up that sentence just for a split second, it makes a lot more sense to read. A comma is a really powerful thing to use in your sentence. So I'm going to put a sentence on the board here. We are now going to look at why the comma is important when listing a few items. Okay, so on the board, we have now got a new sentence. So this sentence does actually make sense, but we can change the meaning of something by just adding in a comma. The shop sold paper plates, pencils, and rubbers. Now I've forgotten to add something to the end of this sentence. What have I forgotten to add? a full stop. Well, I don't know if you spotted that. Fantastic. So at the moment, this shop sells paper plates, pencils and rubbers. So like I said, this sentence does actually make sense, but this shop doesn't actually sell paper plates. It sells paper and it sells plates. But if we were to read this sentence and we needed paper plates and we went to this shop, we would think that this shop sells paper plates, wouldn't we? But that comma that is missing from in between here, because paper and plates is actually two separate items in this shop, we need to put a comma. So now this reads, the shop sold paper, because it does sell paper. It also sells plates, but it doesn't sell paper plates. They are two separate items, okay? So it sells paper, plates, 
pencils and rubbers. That is why commas are really, really important because it helps to distinguish the actual items that you are listing. Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense for you at home. So a comma needs to come in between each item and a comma can replace the word and, but we need to remember to leave the and before the last item. So I have got a range of different sheets for you to have a go at. I'm gonna put them up at the right at the end of this video. I've got three different sheets for you to have a go at. The answers to these will be in your English lesson next week. Have a go at doing them. If you get a little bit stuck, just remember to rewind this video and go and have a look at the rules that we have learned. Thank you so much for watching and I will insert the sheets now for you.